we'll start off with Malachi on day two. He would like to go straight to questions. Why don't we start over here on the left side? I know you're going to have something. Okay, good morning. Tyler Shaw with KBTX Sports in College Station. Um, just kind of, what's kind of the mood right now coming off that national championship game and just kind of what, what what's kind of the the mood right now yeah, around the locker room and, and how you guys are heading into the season? Uh, just trying to keep the main thing the main thing. You know, the standard has always been a standard at Georgia, and we just want to raise that level of, of standard that we have. So just trying to be better at what we do. Does it feel like football season is starting? Is this one of the uh, rites of passage as the season approaches? Uh, yeah, um, it's crazy. Um, we got a countdown clock in the weight room, and I looked at it the other day, and it was like 80-something days, and now it's like 40-something, so uh, it's crazy. What's it like working with uh, the coach on a daily basis? What do you see that, that uh, the public might not see? Um, he's intense. Uh, he's very intense, but he means well. Uh, he's very competitive. He's just a guy who wants to go out there and win and wants to bring the best out of you. And um, that's one of the reasons why I chose to come to Georgia, just to be around a guy like that. Okay. Left side. When you've had such a high standard the past few years uh, of you know how the Georgia Bulldogs have played, how, how do you um, get out of complacency and, and, and improve, especially as a defense? Um, I think just realizing – you know, complacency gets you passed up. You know, if, if you're flatlining people who are, who are consistently growing are going to pass you at some point, and the goal is to not to get past, just keep growing. Uh, you know, I feel like, especially on defense, there's nothing that you can't get better at, nothing you can't grow in. So that's just the goal is just to keep growing day by day. Okay, right side on the aisle. Tony Reese, WTVM, Columbus, Georgia. Malachi, we talk about the defensive identity. You know, this year being a veteran yourself, and you've been in this system now many years. Just kind of what are you most looking forward to this season, and what, what can we expect out of the defense? Um, just just that competitiveness, you know, just to go out there and be hungry, be who we are, be, be the standard of what Georgia was built on. I think that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, another reason why I came to Georgia is to play defense. Georgia's always been that school. When you look at defense, that's who you want to be, and we just want to go out there and be who we can be. Left side, third row. Michael Cobble, WBRZ TV in Baton Rouge. Just could you talk about the offense? Obviously, you know, with some quality pieces leaving, people have different expectations. What are the expectations for your team, and what are you seeing in them early on? Right. Um, I think our offense is doing great, man. Um, they, they really are. And the guys that came in, you know, like Trevor, Colby, uh, you know, the transfers that we got, they, they've stepped up and they've taken a bigger part in the offense. And um, I, like, I like to say that we don't rebuild, we reload, and those guys are doing a great job of stepping up and learning. So I'm excited to see what they can do. We'll stay here on the third row. What have you noticed from Carson Beck? Um, have you seen a, a – step up in level from him and his play from, you know, just mm -hmm. even last year? Um, I, I have, and I think that last year was, was really big for him, and I think the thing for Carson is just to step up and be Carson, uh, just be himself, and I think he's starting to realize that. He's starting to get uh, a lot more comfortable with his role, just being that guy, being that voice on the offense uh, and on the whole team. So just him being himself is, is the biggest thing for him right now, and I think he's, he's doing that very well. Who are some guys on the team that maybe aren't being talked about that maybe should be that um, could surprise some people this year? Um, I think uh, 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 I, I see his name every now and then, but I think Dylan Bell. Um, I, I think Dylan Bell is that guy um, that people need to watch out for. He, uh, the way he works, the way he goes about his business, I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. Um, and just, just to be able to compete with a guy like that is huge. So I'm, I'm excited to see what he does this season. Okay, we'll stay here on the right side. Malachi, can you speak on the type of player that uh, Michael Williams is and what he brings to the defense? Yeah, uh, my, I like to say Michael's a generational talent. You know, the, the things that he can do, uh, he, he's very important to our defense. Um, you know, we wouldn't be the same without him. And, you know, just, uh, just the type of guy that he is, I think that that's the most important thing. You know, he, he's a great guy, and just his competitive spirit, just the way he goes about his business is huge, and I think that's why he gels so well in our defense. Um, you know, he, he's a big part of what we do. Left side. You all have been consistently atop the conference for the last handful of years. I guess how much has the messaging remained the same? And with Nick Saban retiring, has, has it changed at all? Um, no, not really. Uh, you know, we, we want to keep the standard the standard. Um, and that's just not to talk about games, go win them. Um, and I, I think that, that's the biggest thing for us. And we just want to be able to do what we know we can do and just be able to keep doing it at the highest level. Fourth row, backside. 
Trevor Denton, way 31. Um, Malachi, after an excellent All-American season, you've dealt with some injuries this, this offseason. How's your shoulder feeling right now? And mentally, um, how are you feeling right now having dealt with some adversity in spring camp? Um, I mean, I'm feeling good. You know, surgery went well. My rehab is going good. And I think it's really just going back to that that phase of being able to trust myself again. Uh, you know, but going through going through the summer workouts and stuff, I'm, I'm gaining that trust back, and I feel really good. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited uh, for fall camp to hit. Right side. Hey, man, Ben Bobick, Local 3 News in Chattanooga. A guy like Cool Spear, who's been in the program a couple of years and, and, and work, trying to work his way onto the field, how have you seen him grow, and, and do you think he's someone that can make an impact for this team this season? Yeah, uh, Cole, man, he, he, he's one of the leaders on this team. Just the way that he goes about his business, the way he puts his head down and work. Uh, great athlete. Um, Cole, Cole, is, Cole is awesome. And just um, to see him kind of grow and the, the, the role that he's going to step into this season is going to be huge for him, and I'm excited to see what he does with it. We'll stay on the left side, third row. With you know Texas and Oklahoma coming in, and you guys having Texas on your schedules, how much are you looking forward to to you know welcoming those kind of teams in, into the SEC? Yeah, uh, I mean I'm excited. I feel like um, the SEC is, if not the best conference you can play in. So just to be able to compete with the best of the best, and you know go down to Texas and um, just just have a chance to go compete with those guys, I'm really excited. And I think the the main thing is just focusing on us right now, and then we'll hit Clemson in a few weeks, and then I'll take it day by day, game by game. But I'm excited. At the uh, opener at Clemson, you know, I guess do you enjoy starting the season with games like that when you know right off the bat? Uh, yeah, man, I, 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 it's competitive, you know, and as a competitor, I, I love it. You know, there's nothing better than to face a good team. We got a bunch of good teams on our schedule. Um, they just they just happen to be one of them. So I'm excited to see uh, what we can do. And uh, one of my friends I went to high school with, Sammy Brown, is down there now. So it's going to be exciting to uh, go back and forth with him. We have time for a couple more questions. We'll go on the left side. Um, you know, when you're at a place like Georgia, two national championships in the last few years, probably practice every day, you're, you're going to have some epic battles. Who's been kind of your favorite person to go up against in practice and scrimmages um, this year? Um, I, I say Dom, Dominic Lovett. When uh, he got here from Missouri, uh, he was he was fitting into the culture, and now he's, he's one of those leaders on the team. But, uh, you know, just his competitive spirit, uh, which is why we go at it a lot. And, you know, we, we always talk about the Missouri game, how I got him and then he got me. But uh, we, we go back and forth and we, we keep we keep tallying who wins. So that's that's huge. On the front row here. Hi, uh, Eric Bailey with Tulsa World. Oh, OU Texas is a storied rivalry. They play in a neutral site. What's it like, Georgia, Florida, playing in Jacksonville? Drive, just a neutral site. Right. Um, I think I think it's huge. And that's something I didn't really understand when I was little. Uh, you know that that neutral site of uh, Georgia and Florida and whatever everything that goes on there. But you know, just being able to be in that game the last two years, just being in Jacksonville, um, you know, I mean, I mean, it's huge. It's, it's a different feeling. You know, you get to the stadium and you know you're in the NFL stadium and by the river. And you're in Jacksonville. It's, I mean, it's just an amazing atmosphere to be in. Any final question, Malachi? Thank you very much. Good thank job. You. Thank you.